Years ago, people believed a child's looks and actions were caused by the blood in its veins. Good blood, bad blood, blood relative, are all expressions we still hear and which suggest that blood somehow determines heredity. Today, we know that chromosomes, not blood, are the hereditary links between parent and child. The chromosomes are carried in the sperm cells of the father and in the egg cells of the mother. Each month, a mother usually produces one tiny egg cell, a cell no bigger than a pinpoint. The sperm cells of the father are even smaller than the egg cell of the mother and much more numerous. Each sperm has a head or nucleus and a tail that wiggles and causes the cell to move. The egg cell also has a nucleus near its center. Human growth begins when, during mating, millions of sperm cells are released inside the mother and one sperm cell enters the egg. This union of egg and sperm is called fertilization. What does the sperm cell bring to the egg? The nucleus of the sperm carries 23 tiny rod-shaped units which are the chromosomes. The nucleus of the egg cell also contains 23 chromosomes. When the egg is fertilized, its chromosomes and the chromosomes from the sperm come together. Each chromosome from the father is matched by one from the mother. These 23 matched pairs of chromosomes determine our physical appearance and our sex. Those tiny chromosomes contain all the information as to how the baby will look? That's right. And also, whether one is a boy or a girl depends mainly on this 23rd pair of chromosomes called the sex chromosomes. If this 23rd pair consists of two long chromosomes called XX, the baby which develops out of that egg will always be a girl. But if the 23rd pair consists of a long X chromosome, and a short one called Y, the egg will always grow into a boy. Notice that it is the father's chromosome, the blue one, which is sometimes long and sometimes short. Fathers produce two types of sperm cells. One type has a long X chromosome. The other type has a short Y chromosome. Fathers produce these two kinds of sperm cells, usually in equal numbers. In the mother's egg cell, however, the sex chromosome is always X-type. So if the sperm which enters the egg carries an X chromosome, there will be two X chromosomes, and this always means a girl. But if the egg is fertilized by a sperm which carries the Y chromosome, there will be only one X chromosome in the egg, and the baby will be, that's right, a boy. Identical twins like us start from a fertilized egg. The single egg divides into two cells. But instead of staying together, the two cells split apart. Then each of these cells divides and develops into a person, just as if it were a separate egg. So you see, Doug and I have identical heredity because we came from the same egg. And because identical twins come from the same egg, they're always of the same sex. We are twins, too, but we are fraternal twins. We grew from two egg cells, fertilized by two different sperm cells. We are two egg twins, while identical twins are one egg twins.
two egg twins can be either sex two boys two girls or girl and boy like susan and me